Morning Wong. All right, thank you, Jessica. Well, it impacts a lot of people in our area, and all it takes is your donation. And this is our last morning of our Arms of Hope donation drive in conjunction with Splashdown. And this morning, we've got James Kinney with us, spokesperson for Splashdown, of course, and Laura Callos. She's a spokesperson for Arms of Hope. Good morning to you both. Good morning. All right, we're going to talk about this. We just saw a live look at all of those cars already lined up at Splashdown, and we're going to show it right now. Man, San Antonio coming through again, and kind of tell us how Splashdown got involved with this and what you need to do to get your free tickets this morning, James. Well, uh, Arms of Hope contacted us a while back just to uh, see if we could join them in, in this donation drive. And uh, basically what we're looking for is a 30-gallon bag of clothes or gently used clothes or, or household items. And when you bring that to Splashtown, drop it off, you get two free tickets to Splashtown. And so that's what these people are getting this morning that are driving up there. And we've given away about half of the tickets, so there's still time to do it. And of course, this is in conjunction with Arms of Hope, as you talked about. And Laura, tell us a little bit about what, when you see those bags and piles of clothes out there, uh, what that means to you and your personal story of why this is such an important donation drive. Right. Well... I'm here kind of just representing the actual people that it touches. I have a very, very dear friend of mine who recently moved in to the Medina campus of Arms of Hope. And after a long struggle, she was able to take advantage of the programs that they have there. And so now when I go and do donate those bags, I, I see who it personally affects, the children that it personally affects, and the women who are there trying to, to better themselves or to get off of their feet or whatever their circumstance might be. And my friend, as a result of the help that she's been able to receive, there is now in a culinary school program. She's now got her children in a safe place where she can leave them during the day and then be able to go and do the various different things that she needs to get done so that she can get ahead. And the donation of the clothes helps in all of that process, not only with the stores and, and the and the getting the clothes to them personally, but then also the, the revenue and everything else that comes from all of that. And it's just really great to see, to put a face to, to what you see. You see the donation boxes or you go to Splashtown and you drop off the clothes and you might not ever see who it affects, but in the last month and a half I've been able to see the direct result of that and so it's been a very good experience to know where those clothes and Donations are going. Go to. Yeah. yeah, see, and that's the most wonderful thing, and it's just wonderful as well, James, to see all those people lined up at Splash on all the way to the access road there. That's really, amazing. it's not only about getting the free tickets, which they will get two free tickets for their donation, but it's the donation itself and people coming out. Even if storms might be coming, they're still out there trying to be a part of that. How's that make you feel? <laughs> it's amazing. This is by far, we, we haven't had that yet. We've done this a few times now, and uh, the, the line of cars I'm watching on the screen here that are coming in. And the, the lined up to the access road. It's amazing what kind of outpour we've had. 8,000 pounds. That's now. right. 8,000 pounds have been donated so far and a lot more right there. As you can see, a live look. You still have a chance. All you have to do is head down to Splashtown. And once again, James, tell us what they need to do. Just bring in a 30-gallon bag of gently used clothes or household items, something that maybe you bring to a thrift store. Okay. And bring that in, and uh, you'll get two free tickets right now. I'm sure they're going to be running out real soon. I have somebody going over there. We're going to try and accommodate as many people as we can, bring more tickets out to them. Great. Thank you so much. And, more. thank you so much for also putting a face to where these donations go. It's really nice that your friend is benefiting from it. And thank you both for being here. Thank, thank you. you. All right. It's 723. And coming up after the break, Sean's going to have a look at your seven-day forecast, including the latest on Hurricane Alex and how it will affect your forecast. 4th of July holiday weekend. We'll have all of that after the break right here on Fox News First, so stay with us.